New furniture is certainly a luxury, usually one yeah. you have to save and plan for. But that's not the case for a home in Harford County. Yeah, it houses eight women who are recovering from drug and alcohol abuse. 11 News reporter Megan Pringle explains how they got the furniture and what it means to the women who live there. This home is where Kristen Bernard's heart is. I love coming back here. Like, it's always a warm feeling. Like, it's, you know, it is. It's like my home. She didn't live here long, but it changed her life. It taught me the meaning of family, um, how to be a productive member of society, how to go to work every day and do the best that I can in everything that I do, um, and how to stay sober. This Bel Air home is called the Homecoming Project. It's a house for women recovering from drug and alcohol abuse. I was empty and broken, and um, didn't know how to live without drugs and alcohol. Now the house that gave Kristen a fresh start is getting sort of a new life of its own. An assembly team has taken over. Through the IKEA Improvement Challenge, a national contest, the house is getting about 10 grand in new furniture with a team to assemble it. It's crazy to think that I'm involved with something that such a large corporation like is interested in helping and it's just it's completely humbling. It's people that are really um, that are being affected by we have a part in, in helping make their lives a little better. A place like homecoming wouldn't spend the money on new furniture. There's just too many other expenses. Basic transportation um, things and, and you know sometimes toiletry and non perishable food items just for the house to keep it going. That's why homecoming has to continue to find ways to run a household. It costs money after all. So they're selling these bricks. Anybody can buy them from a family to a business. The idea is that they'll stretch from the front door all the way to the driveway. Kristen's grateful to see what's happening because to her, this place will always be home sweet home. In Harford County, Megan Pringle, WBAL TV 11 News.